Spice and her friend got to talking, Spice opened up about why she had a problem with Carly, and even asked Miss Red why she was so fake. It was revealed that Carly signed a non-disclosure agreement when on the house opposite Spice before she bought it, and Spice thought that was fishy because she told Carly Red not to purchase the house. What's going on in your head because I'm kind of really confused. Why are you mad at me? You submit that song for the Grammys. Yes. Why you didn't tell me? Don't act like you want to twist no. the situation. Right. She not happy. Last year we argued about the house. You living next to me is a problem. If my fault, you smell it. That's how close the house is. The truth is, Carly knew, because me and her was arguing about this from last year, that I would be angry if she still went ahead and buy the house. I would give you my left kidney, Carly, anything for you. Carly, stop. You violated my space. You did it behind my back. I almost died. I understand. You understand? That's so I don't have time for this negative I, energy. I am sorry. If I did anything to a friend. Oh my God, this is where I we ever leave you. Please, Carly, I'm stop. Trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I really love you. Why is Carly chasing me? Hide your back or your I used to fight for you. I love you. Okay. That's not how love goes, Carly. Trust me. Deonic and Erica were having a simple discussion before Bambi popped in. She thought the man whom her husband hung out with was not mature enough since he had no family and Chaotic was dumbfounded. Chaotic pulled the move on Erica Banks and it made for one wholesome moment. However, things quickly went south. I'm trying to find love. Why? I'm a great catch. Only thing I think my bad quality does is don't control it. He runs around and he messes with girls here and there and all over the place. You meet. It just made me want to speak. Are you rhyming? Okay. I'm rhyming. Don't so play with it. So does that mean yes? He wanted that. He wanted that. Yeah. You have kids? You married? Oh, OK. But that was like some bull for real. Like, this man got a whole You never really know, like, what's really, like, going on. Leave his family. Amy Luciana met Chaotic in the club, and he took her to meet a couple of people, including Mama D and Erica Banks. While her meeting with Mama D did not go all too well, she let out a ratchet behavior when she spoke with Erica Banks, and Rennie Rucci was the center of that discussion. But it didn't end there because when Amy saw Rennie Rucci, she went all out. You look amazing. Hey. I am here to support my good friend Chaotic. Are you gonna give me a drink? Princess treatment, remember? Right here. Amy. Nice to meet you. Nice. Oh, you got you a bad one now. Oh, no, that ain't, that ain't mine. That's my dog. That's my best. It used to be women that would put a pimp in a Cadillac. And there was some that would put you in a Bentley. You that Bentley. Oh, Lord. He's so crazy. I always smell good. You can take his humor and his big ass personality. Then we can rock. We can all have a good time. Because I've been loving your consistency, though. I've been watching. Thank you. I mean, of course, in my head, I'm the top. Wait. Somebody stole your record? So are you familiar with Rennie Rucci? Yeah. I was in a situation. I was writing for artists. OK. So I wrote and recorded this song. And next thing you know, a fan sends me a screen recording of Rennie Rucci performing my song, my lyrics, my thoughts. So you didn't come with no rah rah. Oh, no, never. A woman, a woman. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get you on a one-on-one -on -one with me to let you know. I wrote that. Caddy, it was very petty, and she goes off and she blocks me. I'm on boss time, and that boss yeah. time does not involve petty bull. Before she found a chance to get at Rennie Rucci, Amy Luciani saw that her best friend for a long time was picking up interest in Erica Banks. Chaotic publicly let it be known that he liked Erica Banks, but Amy pushed hard and far to really know what's going on with him. After Erica played smart by avoiding Amy and her questions, Amy was called to have a civil discussion with Rennie Rucci, but it did not go as planned. I just want to figure out what's going on with her and Chaotic. Is he in your face, my face? I saw him that video girl. And that was But I, I was tripping, though. I was just like... I wasn't tripping, but he told me the whole setup of the video was different. He him being a little serious. Like, he been taking me out, and I told him that once he off the market, he's off the mother market. May the best woman win. Taking a bunch of women who want to be artists, and I'm asking them, are you built for this? I had to take care at home before I came, but I still wanted to make sure I came. It's been going on for years. You keep talking about the same old thing. Private, that's why she did. Well, how does she want to keep it private if she went to the vlogs and, and let me I post she the thing you went to the me... vlog first. Seize the opportunity. I love to seize the opportunity. Yeah. You know how you feel, what you share with me. Message that I sent to be blocked. I thought that was just crazy. That's why I 
feel like when you say blocked and all that, you was making things up. And I'm not mad about it. Only thing is, okay, you're right about something. It was three years old. That's why said, I didn't have but let me, but let me say something. a year ago, but the listen, year before that, and a year before that. You don't write songs, you are, you're a you slide. Hold up, hold up, hold up. This is not the same, Amy. So don't be mad when a person with the worst temper go off. I don't want nothing to talk about. No, walk away. The only thing you can control is you and how you react. DM talk about the record. She blocked you once you went online talking about whatever you talking about. I'm gonna go check on Renee, make sure she good. You have to sometimes take accountability for being green and being new in this business and being excited. As I was saying, I think that you didn't necessarily have any parts to do with what happened. I went to who put me in the situation. You got a personal issue with me about something that I necessarily didn't directly do to you. I, if it could have been done over, I wish it could have been handled a little different. Stay over there, I'm gonna stay over here. And it shouldn't be like that if a conversation should have. I should have reached out and responded in a different way. Maybe she gets some straightening in the corner with them. Maybe she, yeah, I don't, it was, it was just a silence. That's all So it was. I get it. Hey. Oh, we wasn't gonna go there, no, but I'm I glad. just feel like, um, y'all got. Tiara and Mari took a friend, Paris, along with her to Akbar Abdul's house, and things went ratchet there. Now, Tiara claimed to be engaged with Akbar only for her to arrive at his house to be introduced to two other women present at Akbar's house at the time. And one of them was his wife. Supposed to be a date night, but plans have changed. Hey. Come on in. I like you, though. This guy really thinks he can smell and charm his way through anything. I invest in women. But you've been through all these relationships, these broken relationships, and look at you now. Are you preaching so right now? No, it's no preach. I came to see I your life like for I'm a reason. Hello. Hello. Hi, Ferris. How are you Hi, doing? Hey. How are you? Who's the wife and who's the girlfriend? These two women have been hypnotized or something. Do they realize how this man is treating them? Uh -oh. Girl, uh -oh. you better calm it down. I'm, 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 I'm going to speak now. You sending your friends speak to my you what gym. Speak Spanish. Speak Spanish. Y'all nobody can break this right here. Be a part of this organization, investment, or lifestyle. You told me that was your ex. How did I treat so you? So I thought that I was the only one. No, what you thought was he was gonna Say leave me for no. you. No. <laughs> my women. It don't matter. I respect them. I need to get the f away. Yeah, everyone on the show believes that Carly Red is a master of manipulation, and the evidence to support that argument is in this clip. Carly Red showed up at Spice's home unannounced with news for her friend, and she did it all in ways that Spice never expected, especially showing up with the pregnant Jasmine. Maybe I saw them at the lip, okay? No, I'm always up. Knock. Get somebody to see you. She really wait, 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 hold up. She's pregnant. You're pregnant. Yeah. Here goes the manipulation. She knows how I feel about Jasmine, so she's trying to bust her me up. Jasmine is pregnant, and then she dropped this bomb ass news. <laughs> We had this conversation. You know how I feel about it. Carly, I'm going to bring the whole of Atlanta come to Fear House. She violated the friendship. So Akbar sought an explanation on why his car was damaged and couldn't find any, not at least until Tiara showed up. Now, she broke in the windshield of the car when Akbar was still in the gym working out. See for yourself how it went down. I'm going to take care of this right now. Run me through how this all started, how this happened. Tiara, you bust all my car windows. For what reason? Yeah, I absolutely mother positively did after you next morning I wake up to this porn tape and it's all over the internet. I didn't do well, nothing. Yes, you did. Like, you have That's my what is. And the whole is on the internet. Tara, can you oh. prove that he's, he released it? Yes. You were the only person that had them. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You think I would put some there, like, I didn't say you did. I'm not accusing you. You kept letting people get in your head and talk to you about me instead of letting me talk to you. I forgave you for busting my car windows. The porno that you put out I on didn't me. Do that. Yeah, do you love me? I want to say I have that. Do you same love me? Do you love not me? Not no more. Then this is Let it go over, Tierra. Something happened when the crew went on a trip to the Bahamas, and it was Bambi who faced a lot of heat from the ladies. Shakina and Spice knew Bambi wasn't being honest with her answers to the questions she was asked. From there, everything took a turn left. Girl, you split the f***ing pole. No, I'm okay, she didn't split the table. I said, talk to 
talking to Sierra at Rashida's party, I know that her heart is in the right place. We're gonna get up and we're gonna get on a catamaran. Oh, yeah. And ride around the island and do fun stuff. What you been up to, Renny? Nothing. I haven't seen you in a while. In order to make music, you have to have a right yeah. state of mind. Nothing so can I be. guess I get what you're saying. I have spoken to her. Like, she's been working a lot. To know what she said to you about that whole situation. We didn't really go into oh. it that much, but... I'm at a place right now where I just cannot take a lot of bull How come you haven't talked to your best friend? Oh, I have talked to her, but not about that. So Why are you always so fake? Who's so fake? Who are you talking to? Hey, hey, who the you talking to? to? Saying, oh, I haven't spoken to Erica. Why does it matter? When I told you straight to your face, all I wish she had said no. Like, this some bull I'm so sorry never said or started a black one yeah, and a mom. Yeah, it was my best wrong. friend. I talked with some major hot now. Oh, I never talked to her. Spice was waiting to see me so that she could project everything she had. Let's sit down and let them talk. Earlier, Sierra and I talked about it on the way here. At this point, this is not paradise. This is hell. Okay. Then I walk in and then, like, everybody, like, sharking it out. To the conversation about the safari stuff, and she told Spice that all three of y'all was fasting for her for three days. I did say something. And every conversation that I get my two cents in, she always got something to Come on, don't even argue with that. As Shekana is sitting here screaming, she is spewing personal hate for her. The real thing is... You saved her. Hey, but I just don't think it's realistic. Shekana is giving typical pick-me energy. So wag, you are the poor excuse for a woman. What does this have anything to do with you? You were just such a starter. What's wrong with you? She said, That's, That's an eel. <laughs> this is a bad sign. I think it's time for me to either head back to Atlanta or fly my ass. Now he came on land like, oh, since y'all girls want to be so loud and, and mess my little late night session up, y'all must be finna give me some. I wasn't trying to attack you at all. I mean, that's what the energy is. Yeah, Everybody it's, wanna it's, act it's like it's, going on. it's yeah. my. I know the real, girl. I know the real. Okay. So nobody's gonna see text messages and just just go straight off the. F and two days later, you was filing for divorce. I already knew she wanted to do it because she was treating me a certain kind of way. Stage to perform on, that's it, and that's fine. And everybody can continue to smear. I wasn't even gonna do that. I came here to have fun. I really felt horrible for Bambi. Yeah, I don't want to do Tiara that. and Monice argued in this clip, and the fight was over a leaked sex tape between Tiara and her ex-husband. So how the hell did Monice get involved? Well, y'all gotta see that for yourself and decide who behaved ratchet the most. Why are we talking about Akbar? My ex-boyfriend re released revenge porn on me. But when he went to say, where can I see it at? That's when I was done. But that's my whole thing. Hold on. Let me say one other thing. Monique, but when you hear it, it's true. You have that same energy. She oh, met up with him. Did you know that? And I told Tierra this. The last I heard, she wasn't with him. All I got to say Hold is on. pick a side, pick a side. Needs to mind their business and leave me the f alone. I'm nobody's puppet. I'm nobody's pit bull. I'm nobody's guard dog. Now, during the ranch trip, Tokyo and Spice finally got to see face to face. And although the tour started out quietly, it quickly blew up into something else. It appeared that Carly Red had been spreading information that could cause a rift in the group like she do. Now, y'all got to agree that it's in Carly's nature to be uncultured about things like that. Ride it like a cow, girl. Hated this man guts, but you see, that's what I'm talking about. Just, just fake your phone, girl. You talk. Let's go. But now that we're here on the ranch, we're gonna be up close and personal. Yo, 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 yo. I'm a city girl. <laughs> got a little entertainment. Did you have to sit around here doing the? with the pills, so like, where I'm from, we ain't got time for no side show. It was oh, like, I'm so you. proud of you, I'm so happy. You know, thanks for having me here. No I'm already problem. having fun. I miss half. Oh, God, here we go. Me and I are in a problem. I'm saying, you know, people just be real disrespectful. Disrespectful? Who was disrespectful? You! Problem with me, because no, you, I'm, before I'm you met me, you told Carly that Spice, yeah, and you never me. You is you it's because Carly been running her damn mouth. I'm not a hypocrite friend like your friend sitting beside you. I'm a hypocrite? If I have a problem with you, I'm a say. You, you, have, you had a problem with me. I heard before you, you met me, you've been saying. Let's do it. Let's not run away. I'm 
done. I can't do nothing with it. Scrappy and Erica Dixon, during their time together, hosted dinner and both of their mothers, Bo and Mama D present, things didn't really go as planned, and she got into a huge fight with Erica Dixon while the family had dinner. Now, did y'all think that the fight could have been avoided? I love you, bro. No. You have a good night. Yes. Good tomorrow. night, Wig. Mwah. I'm from the Caribbean, and I've never seen an eel in my life. Nip all this crazy shit in the butt. I think we should break. We appreciate you bringing us all here together. We thank you for letting us see this day. Amen. Well, now that we got that all taken care of. I'm gonna fix the plate. Please see a lot of negativity, you know what I'm saying, coming. What do you think is negative coming from me? If you love Erica the way you say you do, and Erica loves you the way she says she do, then it get mad. I've seen the cheating. She never told you the positive stuff. Mignon is really like on my pizza, my pants. She don't know. She don't know her place. And that's what an error is right now. About my mom not believing in our love when your mama, on the other hand, is always disrespectful and calling me a oh, I'm oh, disrespectful. No, you're trying to go towards her. Has my mama called you a, <laughs> a <laughs> mother? Has she called you anything? Wait, that's that's what happened. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. don't call my, my wife he's no bitch. You okay. feel me? And that's just real. Understood. No. You just call him a bitch five or ten minutes ago. No, you know, I said, yes. Of disrespect from Mama D. Take that ring off. Take that ring off. Man, I done tried to do everything in the world, man. Try to make this thing come together. It's the last time, cuz I'm gonna let Erica disrespect my mom. He got you. No, you. Don't be fake about this. No, you don't go to jail tonight, baby. Don't do it. Tokyo attacked Jin for calling the event boring, and Amara was accused of inviting the wrong crowd to the event. But Tokyo felt that it was disrespectful that Spice would call her an unwanted guest at the show. Soon after, the war broke out between Carly, Tokyo, Spice, and Shay, and the reason was laid out that Tokyo wanted all the vets out of the show. What is happening? Have a good so time. So that's what I'm saying. Go get like you, get you a toy. You got a whole husband here. Why? What you boring for? Oh, Why are you getting oh, offended? There's no need for you to get offended. You know how it's boring. And Carla and Spice, they're all sitting, mugging. What's wrong with you? You talking to me? Yeah. Oh, Carly, bitch, you just seen me last year for my birthday and was in my face, and all of a sudden you got an attitude. She want all the vets off the show. Tokyo had said a long time ago that she thinks that all the vets needs to get off the show. Everyone knew about it. Who I said I wanted all you off the show? Y'all know I don't give a about nothing. And <laughs> we can leave it at that. We never ever have fun because you know what the problem is? There's too much. Who has Who a problem with you? Because I think you got a problem. What's okay. your brother? So what's the it's problem? No, I'm having a problem. Me. You don't even know me. You had a problem with me. You don't even know me. No, she you Although no punches was thrown, Carly Red and Kate Michelle had a face-off with one person present to witness their fight. Mimi thought it'd be great to have both ladies try to talk to each other, but little did she know that Katie and Kate Michelle were like oil and water. Y'all, they never mix. So you know I called Carly down. Girl, she already down. You ain't have to call that far. I called her here just so we can get it on the table. Hey, Miss Red. How are you? I'm wonderful. And yourself? With a, a rhinestone snake around her neck. Because every time I get to you, Ariam is an Aria, Ariam, whatever her name Arian. is. Arian. You know that girl name. That's my Arian. friend. Arian. Hold on. I got 40. Look at you. You got you one deflated ass cheek. It's, it's, it's not working. Who's like this? It's not working. Not a good day. Okay. You have you no so receipts. OK, you don't even know how you But you got you on tape. I've been through too much. I'm nobody's punk. Run far away, because you're a all right, so Hazel E came on the reunion stage to clear things with Masika, but you could agree that Masika's reluctance to even speak or sit with Hazel E was what ruined Masika at the show. Now, perhaps she could have listened to Nina, the host, and at least could have respected her enough, and maybe she could have gotten an apology. But nah. Let's get Hazel's side of I'm the story. I'm not sitting on the couch with her. Like, please welcome Hazel to the okay. stage. Well. To all, I'm leaving. Is her I mean? Drew, switch no. with us. No, let's maybe get there. Maybe we can get there. Masika, come on. I don't care with you. Are you gonna apologize for what you said about my daughter? You can dish it, but you can never take it. Masika, don't leave. Don't get mad. Don't burning that. But Hazel, but why she, ask she, that question? When I crashed in Dubai, and she made up this rumor saying I faked a crash. Back to the holding cell, and then when I leave, bring her back. Monique, do you think that Hazel owes 
Masika an apology. I felt like when I did it, I told the truth. I with you, Masika's my friend, but that comment, that one, like, you guys are fair game. There is no song with Fetty, honey, and, and no her. Song? No. You should stop seeking my name, period. I didn't. They said, they said your name, I, I said, cool. I'm not having a f for the tracks. I actually did business to get it. You never did a record with him, which is why it's been pulled from YouTube. Okay. I don't even think right, it's a I'm gold gone. digger. I just All think right. that she's a pro. So. Okay. Walked away like a yeah. punk. Well, hopefully we can try to get that back, but right now, we gotta move on. Until you apologize for what you said about my child, and then maybe we can have a conversation about the other lies you've while Rashida and Scrappy had settled their beef, Mama D and Rashida's mams were not willing to bury the hatchet. In the custom Mama D fashion, she tried everything she could to defer the peace talks to the brunch table, and things quickly went left. Woken now. I see day up to my right. Then I look across the table. There go Perlene, Shirley, Early. I'm not gonna do this. Well, so okay. We're gonna be really nice. We have a nice little spread here. Deb was not there. We had a little difference. Me and him and Kirk have all come together. The only thing that didn't happen was you two. Come on, let's trick our moms to get together to make peace. Acting a fool. Now you know I wasn't gonna tolerate wah, that. Wah, so yeah, wah, 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 wah. A feather, like she finna voodoo somebody. Don't Nobody have time for that. One thing I had in my purse, I had a feather, and I had to spread it with sage. You ain't proud, mom. You ain't proud, mom. You drink some. I'm sitting right here like that's like disrespectful to your child. You feel me? You yeah. Yeah. No. Stop! She's frustrated. She's sexually goddamn frustrated. Say that, what? Princess Rashida. I'm not a princess. I'm just Rashida. In your shop, had you not showed up. I'm very happy to know that they're not getting along because Bambi just went on a date with my nephew. Chikina was not gonna hide her disgust for Lyrica, so when the girl sat down and the matter was brought up on why Shakina disrespected Lyrica and Callie, everything went sideways. Now, Shakina thought that Lyrica was being a hypocrite, and while Spice got involved to mediate peace, she got a share of Shakina's heat, too. Y'all both don't really have a problem, so let's just settle it. I don't know her. I don't know her. Okay, well, pleasure to meet you. I do not want to up nobody's music career. Promote her music on my Instagram. I had no problem with promoting her music because I'm just a good person. She does not want you around because you're bad for her brain. I know that at one point in time, me and this young lady used to follow each other. I've gotten shadow banned five or six times. It's a copy and paste of like, I, I went and read it as well. I'm, I'm calling it, it out. One thing about me, no, 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 I, I am real. Like I am. I you can't treat me no kind of way. You guys probably, but y'all, no, I'm saying y'all probably both don't know. I would like everybody to stay out of it. I honestly would have just apologized to her and squashed it. I just need to calm down. So the fact that you never hard. shake her hand was because you feel like she was being hypocritical to you. I'm gonna sit out here with you. I don't I'm care. trying to get you the to explain what the I'm trying to tell you what the happened and you don't want to hear me because you act like you want me to be wrong. Okay. Sorry, and that was rude. And there was no reason I should have left your hand. If I hurt your feelings or I made you feel away, I apologize. She did just back to what? Doing hair. That's why it's us. Uh, you. First now that one. you explain it to me, I understand. When you were okay, sitting good. there, I never understand. I can't believe that man this whole trip. My period finna come on. I gotta get the. Don't I turn your no, no, up on me, no, you know. I'm really mad. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> ain't fair when you know it beat your ass. You can't get out of All right, this episode would not be complete without this clip right here. You see, at reunion, despite not being attacked, Zell Swag launched at Mr. Ray after the host called for a truce between them. Zell Swag was not completely truthful with his intentions towards the poor Mr. Ray. A truce? Yeah. What you truce? Truce? Oh. 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 You over here talking all that living out of a hefty bag. That. that was I unacceptable. Trust, I don't trust Bye, you. Alexis. Listen, bro. Come Ray. here, bro. Come that on, bro. Cool. Bro, I don't. Like if you don't do like that to people, that's you don't catch people off guard and do like that. You gonna run up, you run up a real. That wasn't cool. Bye, New York. I'm gonna handle like a white woman. I'm pressing charges. I know. I know. Okay. I feel yeah, I'm better. I feel better now. Like I didn't. I knew that he was not sincere. Oh. F her. Well, her whole uh, life is funny, so she should laugh a lot. Alexis, let me ask you why you thought that was funny. I was really back here. I'm in my own world. I'm sorry Stay that there. happened to you, even okay. though I don't like you. It's okay. She can right. laugh at me for getting 12 years, me not having any idea who the you are. Because you don't you're want me to come over there. You're basically telling me to explain my and stuff, but you don't have to say Jade is whiter than I am, and she has black. She ain't gangsta. Even after the knowledge of whom is cheating with her husband, Brooke Valentine still managed to confront Jade and tell her to back off. The same bitch, Cardi. 
I clearly told him when I see her, I'm gonna smack her. Since Asia don't know how I get it popping, I'm not gonna tell her, I'm just gonna show her. So what happened when you talk from me? Keep my name at your mouth. And I'm not even your man. You don't have to talk about me though, bitch. Keep my name at your mouth. Welcome to New York, bitch. You see what I'm saying? I don't with him. And you're always talking about me, talking about my Yeah, you took your hope. You know what you have now? Cardi B was not ready to take things light with Asia and let the punch fly immediately when they were in close range. Are you calm? Are you I don't do that fake <laughs> Trina. Don't <laughs> let you <laughs> with me. You let them all jump me. Don't let them whole <laughs> jump me. How you gonna feel? Let somebody don't put their hands on you. Who jump you? Who jump you? Jump me. Who jump you? Because I wasn't standing. You're not gonna scream in my face. You're gonna calm the <laughs> down. Because I'm not. Man. What you're not gonna do is disrespect me. Why y'all trying to why talk you to you? So, so you need to calm down. What the? I'm not. Don't. Yeah, I can you don't do it. care for real, bitch. Now you're not gonna call me no bitch, cause I'm not none of these guys. I'm gonna whip your ass, cause I'm not none of them. So you gonna go, let me go. Oh, bitch, I'm oh, oh, Come on, oh, 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 you not gonna tell me, bitch. I'm telling you right now. You ain't gonna call me. I'm not no bitch. Let me tell you something. I will whip your mother. That's not that's not fair. You can't stop me for my cousin. Do whatever you want to. Pussy hoe. Nikki Natural, for some reason, thought it would be nice to stay aggressive towards Trina. Trina was prepared, and you know what happens next. You gotta pick a board. Oh, Which one do? Oh, you can't pick anyway. One at a time, though. Go. You don't gotta be no. first, baby. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you, you can go back. Oh, you can go. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What's going on? I don't know. Carly and Mariah Lynn know what limited opportunities are and did not shy away from hitting top note when they had the chance to confront each other. The real one since day. Hazel E. really wanted to reveal the fraud to the crowd and knew how she was going to tell that her single was stolen. For me, as soon as I pull up to the house, they was like, yo, Tommy downstairs about to get Where does that, where does that leave you and in Caesar? Said, At the end of the day, yes. he's like, yo, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm basically Tommy. I said, okay, cool. Okay, you so can you're have not me. with him anymore? Not if you my second. Bitch. Guess what? Every time you with that I with, remember your my Things are clearly getting yeah. crazy in here. If you pay close attention, you will see Kyrie in tears as she and Tommy continuously try to drown the other's voice out. Like I said. Well, what does that mean? But you know what that means. That was some fruit. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You just like the pot top in the kettle black. You messing what? with everybody's babies, daddies. You just don't know. Don't throw nothing at me. You Welcome, bitch. You mad? never met. Welcome. I don't marry. Oh, I can't tell. I can't tell. You, can't tell. Wow. you everybody, baby, daddy. You everybody. Bitch, you bitch. Are you still throwing? You thought you was gonna come up in here? <laughs> Tommy and Treasure knew not to hold back when going for each other's throats. Whether the weapon was food. You look real hot. Off. You know, you just cool. down, down, bitch. bitch. <laughs> Exactly, bitch. Go ahead, bitch. What you mad? You got my backpack? Exactly, bitch. Okay. Ooh, I look so good, though. Why are you so mad that I look so good? Even in gardens with friends, Masika and Nikki couldn't pretend they had scores to settle. You need to calm down. You have nothing to do with this. You have nothing to do with this. Come on, Zima. Come on, Zima. You serious about this? Nobody can break this right here. Because you don't want to, you don't want to share it. Tierra Marie and Paris could not keep their cool when they get attacked by Akbar's girlfriends, and it didn't end there. Either you're going to apologize, what you said, ever you're going to apologize. Okay, well apologize. then you're done. Well, you have BD money, why aren't you getting Girl, some work done? I expected you to look magnificent. I'm actually and I disappointed you too, Naval He, I did. I am. I did. I'm you just got sucked and plucked and pumped, so oh, I'm not. Masika and Hazley knew how to annoy each other, and they simply tried the bullying first before the first note struck. This is Shooter's girlfriend, dude. Oh, shooter? Yes, girl. Shooter. Who is that? Oh, the man who wears the wear that necklace. 
It was Tokyo's release party, and as you might guess, they played mind games that escalated quickly to an all-out rumble. Sierra took a swing at Keely with her purse, and the rumble started. Get booked, bitch, you're overlooked. Your shit is flop. Well, your pussy's gonna flop from all the dick you take. No, your mother is All right, so talk about my mother. The way you just get bitch. Talk about my mother, bitch. Mariah and Dream Doll couldn't keep it cool, despite gathering to discuss the drama between their friends and their professional relationship. They naturally took shots at each other, and the fight began. Did you see that jump? These girl code ethics that are, are one-sided. Girl code ain't, it's got money, Look we're breads, we're choppers, we're Maseratis. Oh, I live this life. You're a scam artist. You yes. live off credit card fraud. Yes. How do I live off let's credit card fraud? Let's, let's, let's pull up that. Oh, you're upset about let's that one? Oh, back. you're upset about that one? You were homeless and destitute. That's what you were. Hazel E and Tierra have beef and drinks fly in this spicy scene. Hazel E looks to actually be on a mission to tie up loose ends and terminate the relationship with Tierra. Who would have thought that a simple sentence like "Go knock her out" can have such a terrific effect on Princess and Morgan? I'm serious, but you know, I heard what happened with you and Dream, and I don't want to be messy, you know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, I get that, but business is business, and it's strictly financial. You got an SB on your check. What's going hey, on what's over up? here? You killed it, I can't lie. Thank you, thank you. What's going on over here, though? Chilling, over here chopping it up. Ray, this is Mariah. Dream don't f her, I don't f her. We don't quarrel with childish, dusty bitches. You're pushing 30 Honey. and you weigh 30 pounds. Honey, you look like a nice. loompa <laughs> Mariah Lynn was only talking with Safari when Bree saw them and chose to intervene. Who do you think is at fault? The one who called the little Mariah Lynn a roach? Sitting here and talking about my friend like this. Let's finish this conversation. That's the best you could do, fucking lie, to make yourself relevant. You should go on with that story, with the attention that you need, because you're a motherfucking joke. Moniz was on stage passing comments when Princess and Brandy knew it was time to let her know she ran her mouth. Look at who is staying so calm. Excuse me, I love y'all. I love all y'all. You know me? Oh. What's going on? Do you know me? Oh, wait a minute. Don't put your fingers in my mouth. Don't put your fingers in my mouth. Do you know me? Do you know me? Baby, stop. Do you know me? 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 You surely know what happens when someone walks up to another gathering with friends and tries to pick up a fight. That's a bold decision like this one. Obviously we didn't though. You just need to stop popping up. Like, do you know me? No, I don't know you. And I don't want to know you. I don't know you. She's doing too much, dude. You know what? I know you. I don't care, bitch. Oh, you that car, bitch. Hey, Tom, I listen. Jasmine knew she had to attend the party Tierra invited her to and Spice couldn't contain her presence, and she lets it fly. Tips. Everybody was perfectly fine. I'm sure you was fine, right, with your fake I ass. I surely was. With a fake, fake ass, ass bitch. With my fake ass? You a fake ass bitch. That How you be you? That would like be you. You a like lying take, fake ass you bitch. Like I take your dance. husband and give it back to you? Give he it, was never take my husband, sweetheart. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, look, give me this drink. Oh. You like that, don't you, babe? Joseline crashed the gathering and didn't hold back on Mimi even after a bunch of girls left to save themselves of any trouble. She lets the drinks fly. On this episode of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, Jock converses with his wife, and he sure has many things to apologize for. It became clear that you knew about the baby. Yeah. So why did you cry that night in front of the girls? Like, it seemed like, like you didn't know. It's just embarrassing. And Kendra airs her grievances towards Jock. I, I expected you, Jocelyn, to be better. I expected you to make better decisions, dog. Right? He tries to apologize, but an argument soon ensues. And I've, and I've apologized to her over and over several times a million How? times. You just, I just found out that right these text messages was real. And the, the nerve I'm that you did not stop I'm not this talking production. About that. An enormous rift has been created. You can't control your damn fingers with text messages. You're embarrassing. I feel embarrassed for our kids. They gonna see this. Is that an apology? 
Okay. As for anything that I put you through, any embarrassment. You gonna reap what you sow. Hold on, I came here and I told you. Got you got some good harvest coming out the ground. You gonna let me finish? I don't like the threats. It's I don't. not, it's a promise. Jock walks off the stage and the episode does not end on a note of reconciliation. Talking about I got e file in every county in Georgia. Y'all don't want that. Y'all don't want this. I hope y'all are happy. In this episode of Love and Hip Hop, Lil Scrappy, an American rapper tries to resolve things with his family, mainly his mama. And we actually stopped talking because my mama blocked me from even on her phone. From the front. I'm, I'm your sister. Right. Do something that I didn't do before I got married. Get some pre-marital counseling. Mother and son talk about what the other person did to hurt them. I wanted to talk to you because I felt like you were my son. I think you was very mistreating of me. Oh, my mother hurt me every day. I you know what I'm saying? You, when you, you speak stuff that's not coming from my mouth. You do things and you don't apologize. Scrappy cusses at his mother. Oh, if you don't give respect, you don't get it. I don't I'm care who you are. Respect. I mean, how much stuff she tell me? Word. That's disrespectful. I never because told you this. I ain't gonna yeah. call. Scrappy's confession about how and where he grew up is a lot to take in. It puts his feelings towards his mother in perspective. In any case, Man, my mom was a pimp. You know what I'm saying? So me and my sister was raised around whores and crack pipes, and this is what you see, and this is what you find, and there's gunshots going on. I thought it was normal. Kirk just made matters worse with his comment. Your mama you know crazy? No, no, no. But it, mama, okay. then you know you crazy. Things turn for the worse as Scrappy walks out on his mama. That isn't pretty. It looks like there is much pent up anger and hurt on both ends. The atmosphere is tense, and everyone doesn't know what to say to Mama D, who isn't ready to take responsibility for the mess between herself and her son. I'm coming to you, that boy hurt for real. Uh, your your family's back. business, it should be your family's business. But that's what he said to me. It don't matter yeah. what he said. What are you going to take accountability for? Is Bambi right about Mama B? Respectful his mom, no matter what she has done. At this point, I mean, I think we're just beyond all of her BS. Grace LaToya, or Spice as she is popularly known, talks about her tribute party when she was nominated for a Grammy. This is my Grammy yes. celebration. I love your outfit. Thank you. Oh my yeah. God, this is bringing me back a lot of memories. I was yes. late that night. The video is lovely, but we soon get to a shocking part. I never watched myself on stage. And to see so many of you doing the tribute, it just meet up. I appreciate you. She's the best friend, like she's a super dope dope. That was dope. really dope. Yeah. That is a messed up attempt at a divorce. And we celebrate right and safari. Something's up, I'm not stupid. So whatever you trying to do with your little circus act, huh, you gonna have to come where I'm at. Shakina is a very loyal friend who tries so hard to help a friend get a divorce though. Does Erica look like she wants to be free of Safari? I like you don't want to be over. You're still in love. The goddamn love. Still in love. With somebody else. Shakina gets him to sign the papers. Thank you, Shakina. It turns out Safari deceived her. That isn't very nice of him. Dealing with exes is always messy, and that can be said for Amara and MJ. I don't know what to say. Amara is ready to let go of the past, but it seems MJ is still stuck on her. 
A lot of weird stuff was going on. Wow. You really, really got. You're trying to do a career out of talking about my about me. Yo, that's for everybody. First of all, not for everybody, but that is for Alan. Okay. That's exactly who it's for. MJ is allowed to have his own opinion, but does she have to agree with him? I introduced you when out there in DR. I feel like that's trash. And you slept with him. You don't want to own up to it. You feel own up like to what? You and I weren't together, this is true. I have always admitted it. You introduced me to Alan. How is giving an exclusive supposed to help you get closure? I mean, I had to get some closure within myself. And she did move on rather fast. The people don't know, but this 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 dude that she's on, on TV with now, Alan, I introduced him. Amara doesn't understand why they are still talking about the breakup that happened two years ago. And that's it, yeah. Everybody moves on with their life and why are we still talking about it? I would have never did that to you. No, that's you just did it with There you go. There is more to the breakup than has been said. Hypocrisy. He did a lot in our relationship and now he's giving me grief about moving on after we were done. I should have been moved on. Amara bids MJ farewell, hopefully for the last time. Keep it pushing. Like I said, you trash. None of this is resolved and that's cool. Yeah. It's just, this is over. So you can, you know, enjoy your life. Yandy and Samantha try to reconcile their differences in this episode after five years of disagreement. Hello, how are you? Well, I'm glad we could meet and talk. Finally, I get to speak to you alone. I know, I mean, it seems like it's something you've been waiting for. I did not think that we needed to have a further conversation. Their ideas of moving on seem different as Yandy refuses to give Samantha what she wants. I just need you to apologize and then we can move forward. I'm not apologizing for anything. It's been five years. I'm I ready agree. to move forward. And I agree. I'm ready to turn a new leaf. You're good. You have an amazing relationship happening. A recap of the event that caused a rift between the former friends shows that things were pretty ugly. Can they make reconciliation happen? Now, I don't wish violence on anyone ever. But again, there are always repercussions for your actions. Yandy tries to explain why she won't apologize to Samantha. The same exact way that I feel about every single child in my life is the same exact way she feels about her niece and her nephew. So when y'all sat up there and the things that y'all said, she was sitting and it was brewing. Shay is excited about her baby shower. And friends is no longer a secret. So I am happy to have this moment for me and my baby girl. Uh, you look pretty. Thank you, so do you. The party is going quite well until MJ arrives. Cute. I am excited. She's gonna be fly in the heaven. He gets into an argument with Julian for overworking his sister. I don't she wanna do. What I'm telling you, she's not working until she had his baby. That's what I'm telling you. It's my call. You need to slow down. Stop putting so much work on her plate. It ain't happening no more, bro. What's the problem? The discussions turn into a fight, with things almost getting physical. Trust me or not, ain't nothing nobody can do about it. It ain't happening no more. Yeah. You heard what I said? I wanna see. No. Poor Shay is caught in the middle. You mean complaining talking about she got too much work? I'm like, what you talking about? I'm so sorry. I don't need my family fighting with my business partner. This petty's not here at a Jessica knew Margo and Mimi were not on talking terms, but she went ahead to invite Margo to Mimi's party. What happened next? I set up a performance for Dime. We've had some bumps in the road and she still hasn't signed the management deal. And I'm like, no, like it's like something who? about her. Stevie first one. Curiosity killed the good guy, so I came. But I ain't never heard her perform before. You know, the good guy only works with the best. I just set up this little performance for Dime. I want her to, you know, just perform in front of an audience. But guess what? I'm gonna rock with it until she proved me otherwise. She's gonna sign a contract? Well, that's what I'm hoping for. Thank you. Thank you for the love. Yes, you too. Oh. And I'm gonna perform, honey. But this is the last thing Mimi is gonna do for me as my so-called manager. So tonight, Mimi, I got a special goodbye present for you. I got a surprise for y'all. I don't know. Can I get my girl Margo to the stage? and Amazon standing on the stage of my show up there with my art. All I know is that Dime has lost her entire mind. You'd always wonder why Carly is always on the wrong edge with everyone. And in this scene, she was Alexis Skye's target. Both of them were guests at Rashida's and Kirk's party. Away, but I'm done with that 
Sapphire is my close friend. And now you're about to see who I really am. <laughs> Hi, y'all. Uh, Hello. 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 Hey, how are you, darling? Now, I know Alexis and Carly don't really get along. Has something to do with Mo, which I've never been a fan of. Oh, really? So, where are you going? Business, having a good time with my girls, and she and all her people are messy, messy, messy. Y'all giving me a migraine. Get the off me. Alexis used to talk to my man Mo a couple of years ago. I got dragged into some drama between them, and then I had to threaten Alexis' mom. He was in love with me. I said, baby, you can have him. I don't want him. Sis, and none of my friends know I've been going through the darkest time of my life. Okay, bitch, and I'm in your city now. You're not about that. Honey. We're trying to see how far can you throw the rosé. What I've been going through in my personal life lately has been tough enough. This was unacceptable. I don't give a Y'all see how y'all spoil somebody day, though. And ruin my 20-year anniversary party over some bull I'm super pissed off right now. Jasmine once had a fling with Rashida's husband, Kurt, which bore a child. And after the secret found its way out, there was bad blood between Rashida and Jasmine. In this clip, however, Tiara thought it was best to bring Jasmine over to apologize. Even Tiara could not have predicted what happens afterwards. You know, I'm praying that this gonna go smoothly. I'm praying Rashida ain't been drinking. At a party I ain't know about. Jasmine's here. Then I'm confused on her walking in with Tiara. Like, what the f is that about? As a father to our son, you know what? You can go sit down. Rashida, you are such a lady. Because I'm going to kill that bitch. But she better remember, we in a room full of my peoples that will ride for me if necessary. I just wanted the chance to finally, you know, reach out to you. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't thinking about what I was destroying. I'm not that type of person. I'm really not. Because on some real you did that shit. Like, that is the type of person you are. One thing about me, though, is I'm a real ass woman. That's why I hadn't talked to you. I'd be the first to say, like, I wish I would have never did that. That's not who I am. I guess actions speak louder than words. All I could do is act on my words. Actions speak louder than words than what? Because when I talk to my mom and I talk to my stepdaughter, because you're coming in my place of business, you want to apologize, and then what? Because anything else after that has nothing to do with me. And you need to have what that means. Because at the end of the day, on some real you posted my child on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Right there, that is a no-go. Mm -hmm. See you later. Yes, boss lady! Having survived a long time of misunderstanding, Carly and Jocelyn finally got the opportunity to squash their beef, and it was championed by Kay Michelle. But she failed, and it did not just end there. Tonight's my performance for my new single, Got the Drawers, with Beanie Man, Grammy Award winning artist, the legend. It's my freedom. Yeah, it's my freedom. Oh, hi, Poopy. Hi, ladies. How y'all doing? If I can forgive people, anybody can forgive. Jocelyn thinks she a psycho bully, and I'm not trying to have her my night with her bully bull. I be popping off. And I'm like, you know what? She was down. She was cool with it. How was your performance? I ain't do it yet. Oh, you didn't do it yet? So we'll get to watch it? Yeah. It was awkward telling Carly that I decided to bring Jocelyn to her show. One day, we can all sing Kumbaya and just finally get along. Come on, Turn it up. Turn it up. I was trying to be nice, but that bitch. You look a mess. She could have been Beyonce. She could have been no damn Beyonce. I said be nice, not delusion. It was just, oh my gosh. But let me see how K. Michelle and Jose felt about it. You, you did not do bad at all. It was, it was catch. I, changed, I did dye my hair. Makes Girl. you look younger that color. I'm not playing no more days on you no more or whatever, so let's leave that in the past. But your age doesn't have anything to do with me. I thought we said we were going to put it in the past. OK, so what you going to do if we don't? It ain't got nothing to do with me, bitch. If you your age, what that got to do with me, bitch? She came a long way, and she's been working. A You're such a changed woman. This way, <laughs> let's roll and get food. 
walking like two big booty hookers in the street. Mama D and a much younger Rashida went for each other's throat for a simple argument that quickly escalated. I want to talk to you about something that happened earlier this summer. What happened? Kurt spoke to Scrappy and told him we running over. What the day of? Are you kidding? That really? night they told me. What am I supposed to report to Scrappy? So but Rashida you knew Scrappy way longer. Was Rashida and Kurt the only person that Scrappy needs? I mean, come on now. Man, we got our opinions just like yes, you do. I know you tell her back. Like I got Scrappy back. Okay, well, yeah, yeah she have a right because this your guy. Get, get, get the hell out of here. That's all I'm going. What is this lady doing? Man. Buckhead, police, come get this old goddamn lady down here looking like a fool. All right, Ned, you sit on it. Oh, no, you need to sit your ass on it. <clears throat> See? Go. 14 karat, bitch. When some ladies start leaving a gathering of friends, you already know that a lot is about to go down. And it surely went down. And the throwdown was between Jocelyn and Mimi in this scene. Everybody, goddamn. Me and Dee had to excuse ourselves because we could tell that it was about to get kind of catty. I invited Jocelyn as a gesture to Kay Michelle, but she rolls in late. She misses my music. How you being you? Do you like when I take your husband and give it back to you? Give he it, was never my, my husband, sweetheart. Oh, look, give me this drink. You like that, don't you, babe? And he married me. You ain't never married, bitch. I ain't going nowhere, ho. Right, neither am I. Everyone knows Carly to always be in people's business, and in this clip, Stevie alongside Jocelyn with the big mouth and disrespectful attitude confronted Carly. This is how it went. What, what, what this bitch doing in here? Whatever, what? What's up, baby? It's good. Why you and your man having a conversation about me in your bed while y'all in the bed? This no. is what you told he me. He said he used to see. He saw you. See me where? See you kicking it, smash. See you doing this. If we could communicate. <sighs> we weren't doing this the day that I asked her the question. Right. Oh. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, question yeah. that you asked me? Because I didn't see one. You had to go home and think about it. Yeah. If you had a problem with it, you would have kept it real when you first saw you know me. Why? why are you talking about me with your man? Not me. This you. I don't know, because I'm a bad bitch. bitch. OK, that's why. <laughs> Can I tell you something? You're messy. You are you're messy. Stevie brought Shay Mack to where Jocelyn was, and Shay decided it was the right time to apologize for how badly their relationship had been so far. However, typical Jocelyn did not budge. Just have a little fun at the strip club. Yeah, please do. Bitch, Shay Mack braces face. Paul, why is you here? Jocelyn, I want to apologize to you. Don't talk to her without you. I ain't trying to step on your toes. Um, I don't want to come. Bitch, you can never step on my toes. Yeah, I'm, that's I'm cool. I'm a baby. bitch. But, and and you really, I kick it in your braces, ho. You right See, there, bitch. Well, I don't want to be working with Shay Mack behind Jocelyn back, but look at Jocelyn's attitude. Make me just want to revert to the old sleaze, though. Okay. Am I having a conversation with you with the, about another bra? All right, what well, you the last time? The last time. This has always been the type of to do what I want to do. I didn't want to do that anymore. I see now. If I'm cool. having a conversation cool. with another bra, when I'm still not done with my problem. Can't you believe, bitch? You ain't and you ain't gonna never be. Go home, crank your braces, keep it moving, bitch. I'm out. Uh, you, you, sound sound you sound stupid. You sound stupid and you sound a mess, bitch. Okay. Bitch. Bitch. What the f? Get the f off me. Get the f off of me. Give me my purse. I'm gonna show you something. In love and hip hop Hollywood. Lyrica and LaBritney met in a bar, and things went through the roofs. Thank goodness for security. What's poppin'? Good. What up, what up? What are you at my husband's show? Why what? Because I do what I fuck I want to do, and I do what I want to do. You was watching my gram the whole night I was dancing on stage. Why, Why you so mad? Why bitch? you so mad? You at my hood? You was begging my nigga to work with you. I can work with whoever the fuck I want to work with. Everyone knows the rap star Remy Ma, and when his friend, Ra Ali decided to host a fashion show, she was steadfast through the planning. However, one thing came in her way, and it was Toya, another friend of the host. Toya, this is Remy. Remy, this is Toya. At the fabric store. At oh, we the had fitting. like three rescheduled. Oh, was not, that was not my fault. That was oh. her fault. Walking around. What's and up what with did that? you do? All right now. I just want to know what does she do? I'm a designer. What do you do? I rap. Okay. And I smack chicks. Back up. All right. Take, Take your, your drive wig, back up. Don't even let a bitch attempt 
to try to maybe think about disrespecting me. Oh, fucking hell. Hold her. on. Let me out. finish That's my it. point. I'm done. Let me finish my point. Go tell her who the fuck I am. This whole shit is about to go down. Let's go. Pack your whole shit. Now they don't got no DJ. Let's go. Oh, God. She's back. In Love and Hip Hop New York, after Remy performed that act in the last clip, where she took the DJ out of the fashion show, she and Ali's friendship broke out, and it was nasty. Why would you put me in a situation where I would have dragged somebody? You told your DJ let's go after you told me to fire my DJ so your DJ could be there? Absolutely. Well, you could go. Okay. I'm never ever kissing nobody's ass. That ain't the kind of bitch like, I am. To play. I don't never try to embarrass none of my fucking friends. Ever. Yeah. Where am I fucking in bed? Cause I'm but you worried about your fucking toy? Yeah, that's what you're nobody. doing. I swear to God, a bitch never crosses me twice. I'm good. That is super whack. So, just this fucking go, turn on the fucking music, where's the fucking makeup people, fix my fucking makeup, put in stupid shoes, just yes. fucking fix it. Remy and I are not good, but we're gonna have to put our personal issues aside, because right now, the show must go on.